Welcome back, everybody, to episode 10. Um, struggles over for her. Yeah, so if you look at my community screen, I have no graveyard or graves behind. But recent death in the community. So the way that that happened was I exiled someone, and then I guess she ran straight across the street. Yep, and there she is, into a feral pack. And now my uh, morale is super in the tank here, super in the garbage. So I'm going to go kill a heart, try to raise it up a little bit. Um, and I do want to get this uh, water, what is it called, water pump station, I guess, eventually, as my water uh, for the community, so that's the goal. Um, let's get some of that, let's get another one of these. I got a whole bunch of explosives from some, what was that, it was like body, off of bodies, it was like... Uh, one of those communities that spawns, it's like, oh, you go there to help them and they're dead. Well, they got a whole bunch of explosives off of one of their corpses. That, it seems weird that I got, like, all th six of those explosives were on one body. So I don't know what what was going on there, but it was very nice. Uh, what? Last time I was thinking I need some more of something, I don't remember what it was. I'll just bring another stack of that. How is my... Uh, that is... Three different. One, two, three. Yeah, I can count. Okay. So I might as well use the first aid kit now. Okay, so I'm gonna head over and kill this heart. Um, it is kind of too bad. I've, I've just been um, recruiting people, like yeah, calling in enclaves, recruiting people, and then um, exiling them basically because they always suck. That one was a medic from the kind of new medic enclave. Uh, which could have been cool, but she had, uh, setting the pace as her hero bonus, if I recall. Um, Two seconds in plague territory and, I'm already and that hero bonus is like plus 33% global, uh, facility speed, or, or facility action speed. Which, I literally have one facility and there's only, I guess there are a couple actions for it, so it isn't totally useless, but it is definitely not, um, what I'm going for. Whoop. So let's see if we can get down here and get to heart killing. Hey, I just delivered some good stuff. I was hoping that this um, place also has some goodies in it to to loot afterwards. It is the police station after all? This place is hotter than a damn sauna. Also, I have an enclave right next door, although they're pretty hurt. Uh, the the old medic group. I had a second. That was, the person I recruited was the or was from the second medic group. Oh. I need a break. Okay. Whoops, I just... My finger slipped over from W onto E and I immediately used one of my snacks, so that's not great. But Marathon plus discipline gives us a lot of energy already, so it's not... Better take care of the last ones. It's not too terrible. Okay. Let's get to kicking. I'm barely hurting this thing. I don't even hear anything. I thought I heard a couple zombies, but... Oh, there we go. There's a feral. Can I get it down to the first fart before the feral gets here? Nice. Excuse me. Oh, she's frustrated. She's gonna be not. I forgot about the bug. Frustration confused me. I oh, did it again. What am I doing? Come on. So if you haven't watched some of my previous videos, it's really easy to kill a blood plague feral with a door. But there's this bug where they pound against the door and then the door opens a second later rather than right away. So you have to watch for um, when they slam into the door. 
And if it does not open right away, stay back. And then open, once the door opens, you just close it. And then open it into them. And just like I did right there, you can see. But you just be careful of that bug because, as you can see, it got me twice because I was busy not paying attention. Almost there. Can't let up now. So this one is going really easily. I shouldn't have said that. Um, hopefully I can get another furrow to kind of explain that idea again with the, with the doors. But generally doors are the easiest way to kill furrows. I guess cars are the easiest, easiest, but if you're not in the car, then, then doors are the, the easiest. Oh, here come some zombies. I don't want the zombies yelling because that'll attract tons and tons of zombies rather than just, you know, the half dozen. So that's why I'm going after the zombies, even though like, that zombie would have been stuck in that door for, you know, 10, 15 seconds or whatever. Could have basically ignored it until uh, it came in, but there's a chance it would have yelled and attracted zombies, or maybe just the noise of pounding on the door. Oh, come on, keep, keep kicking. Would attract a zombie or two. So it's better to be proactive about the defense. Honestly, I'm glad we worked that out. Okay, that's good. Really so let's look at the timing on this. That was really easy. I don't know why that was so easy, honestly. The other ones have been incredibly not easy. <laughs> uh, so we have 22 minutes left on that. And 20. Okay, so this should cover that for the next. Yeah, you know, the, my plague heart kill will last 30 minutes, and this is only lasting 22 minutes. So. It's basically as if I didn't kill Plagueheart, uh, but also that I didn't have a death that didn't actually happen in my community. So I brought all this crap and now I don't need it. So I'm going to sell it to these people next door, uh, do some looting, doing, do some unloading. I might go after another heart here. Um, hmm. Let's sell this material rocks. I don't know. I'll be right back and decide what I want to do next. Uh, just give me one moment. Alright, I just sold the rucksack and grabbed some uh, energy drinks. I think why this was so easy was because a lot of the zombies were stuck and all the crap behind the police station, to be honest. Uh, I, like, I went next door to that, uh, uh, to the clinic where the medics are, and, like, uh, immediately a horde came down and attacked. And it's, I think that um, the zombies just literally couldn't get to us. Oh, I did hurt myself a little bit there. Oh wow, the third one was really far away. I was confused why there were only two to that horde, but... Oh, there's a bloater. Don't hit that. Where is this... Oh, it's way up here. Should I go back and kill that horde? I think it's despawned. Oh wait, where is... Oh, it's still farther. Uh, I'm gonna park right here, just to block some some entrances. Um, I should be good. Yeah, I'm f full on everything basically. I bought, or, yeah, I did buy one set of bandages from uh, the medics just to top off my health. Did I just hear a feral, or was that just a regular zombie that I heard? Yes, just keep coming one at a time. This is perfect. I'm getting... being able to see less and less as this goes on. I'm just working my way back into that corner. I'm not doing too well. Anyone out there able to what? help me out? I think a random mission just spawned in the heart... or at the heart that I'm attacking right now. Yeah, she's just like right next to me. Can I kill this guy? Thank you. Let's walk over into here. Do I need to talk to her? Do I just need to help now, where am I gonna kill this? That? I think I just need to help kill it. Mm. 
Where did she run off to? Oh, she's just running around too. So these plague hearts, we were doing something about those, right? Yes, that's literally why we're here, Minerva. I guess I'll get to kicking in. Maybe she'll come in here and help, or... Oh, she just ran by. She's gonna stand there and make sure I do the kicks okay, I guess. Oh! She got closer. I guess it's too much to ask to actually get help. So having her stand there and watch was very um, helpful in its own way, I guess. Okay, with her here, I'm just gonna torch the bottom of the staircase. So, okay, I kind of thought that there would be zombies there. I was gonna say I'm gonna torch the bottom of the, the staircase and then just get back to work and let her sort out all the zombies, but there were no zombies there. In the past day, I've had minus two food, minus two ammo, and minus two materials. Just been losing like little bits of everything. But luckily, I'm, I'm plus a lot on everything. So that's good. You know, if you just stayed up here, you'd have a very nice, just defensible position, right, Minerva? Just stand right here. They all have to come right up the stairs to you. Sounds like she prefers other ways of fighting the zombies. Okay, I just want to kill this heart, then I can go down there and help with the feral. Might have just heard a juggernaut too. So I might just be like, piecing out right after I kill this. Don't get away from me. Wait, what? That plus 12 influence that I just got? And I thought I heard the feral die too. I don't know... Oh, that's too bad. Oh yeah, I'm not giving her right now. A, a cure that... It's not worth it. But I don't know how that feral died. I got 12 influence for it, so somehow I killed it. Oh. I will take your stuff though if you're gonna give it to me. Um... Yeah, I don't know how it died. But that's two hearts down. I can go over and claim this. Although I'm not going to claim it yet. Uh, it's going to go here and I do want the, this material outpost for a little bit. Uh, at least until I upgrade some of these a bit more. I guess I can actually upgrade this right now. I didn't even notice that. It must have happened like while I was recording. Um, yeah, I need 20 more materials. So this is plus three. That'll, you know, provide a lot more to the, uh, a lot more progress for this. But pretty soon I will be getting rid of this in like a day or two uh, for the water pump. Um, so I do have to loot these and um, get on my way, but uh, you, do, you guys don't need to see that, so I will be back in a minute. So it's actually just like a minute later, uh, and I just had two thoughts, or two things to say. One, there's a corpse here for Aisha, who is the person I um, exiled. So that's weird, um, even though they weren't in my community when they died. Um, but the second thing is, I wonder if the reason why these hearts were easier than the other hearts was because I didn't have the heart-to-heart -heart mission going. I, I'm going to have to look back at the earlier footage um, and see if the hearts that were easy were the hearts that I did on my own and the harder hearts were the ones that had the heart-to-heart -heart mission uh, going. Well, okay. nice. Where's the materials? What's the order of the materials? <laughs> I have these in order of the, uh, these over here, and for some reason my mind just blanked and I couldn't remember the order. Um, but yeah, so I think it might Don't be worry. just that I'll heart to heart really buffs the um, difficulty of actually killing the heart, which I guess I hadn't even really, you know, thought of, thought about before until just now. Just like thinking about why these hearts were so much easier, but maybe yeah, maybe it's just heart to heart itself is the reason they're harder. Anyway, I'll think about that. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you guys have any insights. I know a lot of you guys are very knowledgeable about this game. 
So maybe you know, someone has some ideas, some experience about it. Oh, don't hit the bloater. That bloater almost hit me earlier too. I was driving home with Aisha actually. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I will be back in a moment. All right, I actually recruited a couple people that I kind of like, or one person that I kind of like. Uh, and you just got Blood Plague, I think because the random follower that I had that's not from my enclave got Blood Plague or got swiped. It got transferred over. But luckily I was kind of anticipating that, so I was bringing one of my Plague Cures with me, so it's, it's no big deal. You know, but I, since, uh, the Plague Cures are so like important, I wanted to show this. Um, yeah, so he has plus one materials per day and he has gardening, and right now um, I'm just basically saving up materials for upgrading the... Uh, can't do it. Don't you dare get grabbed right now. Wait, why can't... why didn't he take the Time cure? To put him away. Eat the cure. No more okay, that. that was weird. I, I got worried there that something bad was really happening but uh, I got a random mission that was like go kill a plague heart and it gave me two followers it was a survivor activity they want me to kill some heart up here somewhere it stopped giving me the objective mark I think it was this one yeah the Walden house I don't actually want to kill it I don't care so I've just been having them follow me around as bodyguards basically one of them already died and he has blood plague so he, I think it was he got swiped and it got transferred to me. The blood play got transferred to me. Um, but now this guy is actually in fine shape. He's all done. He just heroed out, probably killing that feral horde. And um, yeah, it's it's all good now. Um, yeah, so with gardening, and probably in this morning time, hopefully. Actually, maybe not quite. I think I'm at plus six materials a day. Yeah, so I won't quite have enough probably to upgrade this but at least in 45 minutes at night at the nightfall um, I will get enough materials for it uh, let's see what day it is I think it's let's just drive home I think it's day uh, 34 okay there we go it's morning of day 34 so yeah tonight I should be getting enough to just upgrade one of my um, gardening outposts uh, the other person I got wasn't very good. I mean, they're fine. Um, their chemistry, which will be good for the... Uh, what's it called? For the fuel outpost, which I might actually upgrade first. Uh, we'll, th we'll see about that because I'm probably going to uh, exile her. She gives plus 10 stamina, which is... In a normal playthrough, is pretty good, I think. Better than average hero bonus, but I don't really care about that. I definitely just saw a plague zombie. Um... One second, I'm trying to concentrate, jumping down here. It's so much easier <laughs> daylight. At nighttime, I just like throw myself off the cliff and hope I land somewhere reasonable. Uh, but she got the um, personal quest that she has a brother for a cop, and I am just starting that. I did like the first mission. So if I can get a cop recruit, maybe the cop will be, you know, a decent recruit. Probably not, but maybe. A good problem, but still a problem. Sorry, I hear a bunch of ferals. Oh, there they are. Um, yeah, so just wanted to, to kind of show you where I was at and show why I was using a plague cure. Pretty sure that was a bug. I mean, I was in a car either way. So I, I don't think I should be getting plagued in the car by a feral swiping, even if they swipe at me. Um... Anyway, I will get back to you guys in a second when hopefully something more exciting has happened. So it's the night of, I think, day 34. I'm up to 12 um, materials here. So I'm going to upgrade my uh, gas outpost or fuel outpost. Oh. oh, it's knowledge of mechanics. I thought it was knowledge of chemistry. Huh. What's knowledge of chemistry then? Um, is it medicine? No, medicine would take medicine, wouldn't it? Where do you learn... Where do you even learn chemistry? Oh, it must be ammo. Where's where is ammo? Where's an ammo outpost? Over... And there's an ammo outpost up here, yeah. Okay. 
Oh yeah, it's chemistry is for ammo, not for fuel. Whoops. Well, in that case, these people were totally useless. Um, this person was, I don't know, fine. Uh, but plus five max health. This sucks, so there's no reason to keep him. Um, I did end up getting his police car, though. So that's nice. I think it is faster than the... Um, what is this car called? Maximilian. All I could think of was Miagra. I knew it was an M name, but uh, so I'll probably I think I'm gonna switch over and start using the police cruiser now. Uh, but I don't need him, so we're gonna uh, exile him. And then also she, I don't ever need chemistry now. I thought it was what I needed, but it's not. And she was fine. Um, in a regular run, she would have been good. You could upgrade chemistry to like munitions or whatever. And uh, I have a totally good, fine character, but. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't need her here, especially since I don't need uh, chemistry ever. So did I hit exile? No, I didn't. Come on. Okay. Hey there. I, I hit escape and then didn't escape. Uh, I don't hey want there. the police knife. I don't really care about the. Um, you are so out about of the here. different close combats, this except for the. Uh, gets worse and worse. What what is it called? The uh, the mamba or something like that. Oh, the Crombit. Why do I think the mop? I don't know. Is that what C1 is the... No, C1 is the stiletto. What's C... What's C2? I don't remember. Oh, no, the, the mop is the sword, isn't it? I think I have one up here somewhere. I have so much crap, I don't ever, like, really use it. Yeah, the, it's the Echo, Echo 2 Mamba. Yeah. Um, but I don't need her either, because I just went over that. She... Sucks, I guess. Um, hey, good looking. We're gonna exile her. Well, it's time for you to go. And now we have a bunch of influence. I was actually up to like, like eighty-five, or yeah, eighty-five hundred. We got extra space. Um, Let's fill it with more people. But I, do I still have it? Yeah, the wandering trader, the red talon wandering trader. I bought a uh, another fifty cal just to have it, so I can just keep putting 50 cows on my base defense people uh, I think I'll use this one up for base defense because this one is uh, integral to in blah, can't talk integrally suppressed um, although it's still pretty loud <laughs> especially on lethal but it's better than uh, not uh, being suppressed uh, I think the scopes will be basically the same now let me is there any real difference I guess this one has slower fire rate and is a lot louder. So the yeah, the Timberwolf is just better overall. Um, yeah, so he's just sitting at base with his plus one materials. I may raise his gardening. I don't know if it's worth it. I have a bunch of influence. I may raise his gardening up. Uh, if I raise it up high enough, I can get another food per day. But I don't really need plus one food per day. I'm already at... Uh, plus four, and it would be like an additional. Been doing so well lately, be like a thousand influence or something show. to. Maybe two seventy five. I think you'd, I'd have to max out agriculture to get the plus one food per day, so it'd probably be like fifteen hundred influence. I don't think that's worth it for probably the two food or three food that I'd get from him. Um, so I guess I'm just gonna upgrade one of these food outposts. Long story short, I almost forgot about that uh, because there's no. I'm, I'm not. I don't have a way to upgrade the fuel outpost. I do have a ton of these. Oh, I do have a ton of these uh, enclaves, and I think I start need to start getting rid of some of them um, and just try to get. I don't know. I think more morale based um, bonuses because I'm I'm always low on morale here. Because, but like I, I'm barely positive, and I just had a new recruit just killed a feral, and I have uh, some other bonuses. This was this is a bug. I think I mentioned this before, but um, if someone is giving a bonus, a morale bonus to your community, and then they get exiled, their bonus sticks around until you restart the game. So I'm just, <laughs> I still get that plus to influence constantly. Uh, but yeah, if I could get, I think I've heard that there's a plus, where is it, a plus 16 morale bonus on Clive. Um... I do not have yet. This is only plus eight, as is this one. So if I could get like, yeah, 
plus 16, that would be really great. Uh, but overall, I'm in, in really good shape. And I think I might, <clears throat> excuse me, kill one heart. And then, yeah, I might kill one heart and then wrap things up uh, today. But we'll see. I, I don't think it's going to be, I'm not going to do it right away um, in real life time. Uh, I'm still just going to keep keep chilling, going through, trying to find more survivors. Uh, this guy's just temporary, so I really only have three kind of permanent survivors. And this, this guy's good, good enough. He gives morale and parts and materials. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep keep doing what I'm doing. That's, that's what I do. So I'll be right back. So wouldn't you know it, I mentioned killing a heart at some point uh, yesterday when I was recording. And so heart to heart spawned once again. Originally the mission spawned with these people over here, the local talent. Um, but I do have this kind of new enclave that I need to... Um, ally out so I tried restarting I restarted like 20 times and it bounced around to like a whole bunch of different enclaves but it never actually would go over to the strangers so I'm gonna have to do this mission and not actually uh, really get anything from it. I mean get, get some um, influence of course but not uh, ally these people out and I am going to have to get rid of some of these enclaves because I have so many of them but a lot of these are good so I don't know exactly which I'll get rid of. I don't really need food, but yeah, I do need beds. Uh, that's annoying because I don't really need beds in the long run because if I just get like two sleep psychology books, I'm good for a while. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I, I bounce this around a lot, so I'm going to go over and uh, get the mission and do it. So I figure that will be how I end this episode. Let's, what do I need to grab? I want some fire. That's what it is. And let's grab an extra first, first aid kit. Gate oh, I didn't hear what he said. I was I, something about rust and carrots, and I don't know how those two things go together. I don't usually associate rust and carrots. Okay, so two first aid kits, a bunch of fire, a bunch of ammo. It should be good. You folks mind helping us out? Oh. oh, darn it! That's the new people that I. I was just talking about how I need to hear or er, uh, ally them out, but I'm not going to do that mission, so that's too bad. Hopefully, it's morning and it's not nighttime. I do not like. I mean, it's annoying enough to have to fight like 50 million zombies. Uh, doing it at night just doesn't <laughs> doesn't make the situation that much better or any better. Okay. Do you think this is fa this car is faster than the Maximilian now that I've driven it a bit? Oop. Hey there, stranger. Come on in. So also you can see it says the unbent. I didn't point that out. I forgot to. The unbent are. Oh no, these. No, this is scattered survivors. Yeah, these are the unbent. So it says to talk to these people, even though I'm doing a mission. Sort of for the unbent. Um, yeah. So. See, and I can recruit from here, so it's this is it's very con the game's very confused. This is what I was talking about in episode seven, about oh, I have to bring someone. And this person wants me to come over here and kill that heart. No, chill out. Um, that's the the heart in the uh, what's it called, the mechanic shop up there, the auto repair shop, uh, is gonna be the last heart I think because it's not really in the way too much and it's also a free heart you can stand on your car and, and kill it easily without taking damage um so i figured that'll be a nice easy one to wrap up with so let's just drive over here i'm not gonna do the only cure actually let's just stop by there, there since i'm okay. literally on the way and this uh heart mission is gonna take a while probably Whoa. Spun out there a little bit. So that means these people will go down to uh, neutral, unfortunately. I'm sorry, uh, which means I then have to do two missions in order to get them up, back up to uh, Allied, or to get them up to Allied. Not back up. They haven't, they haven't been to Allied yet. 
We're hitting stuff. Huh? Yeah, I literally just started playing today, so I was I feel like the very first thing that happened when I turned on the game uh, today, like real life today, uh, was the heart to heart spawn. <laughs> just like, come on now. I, I need to go back and count how many it's been. I think it's like eight or nine now. Uh, Yeah, it's, it's been way too many. Way more than I think it should have spawned. Okay. Oh, I didn't select the mission again. Did I just hit the curb and somehow... What? Okay, that was weird. Okay. Oh, I hate this house with the, with the gardens in front just because it's so weird. You can't drive a car up there and you get stuck there so easily or bounce off things so easily. Luckily these zombies are all lined up in orderly fashion. Okay game, I guess my car is exploding then. Yeah, I can't even hide over there. Well, this has started off rather poorly. I had like a little bit of lag right as it, um... Literally, like, right as I hit those zombies and I figured, oh, it's just because, you know, it's... Killing a bunch of zombies all at once. <laughs> and then I went flying, so... It's tricking me. No, 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 don't do that. Oh wow, yeah, there was a person. When did she get out of the car? I honestly don't know. And how do I get this car out? Was there a hole? Oh, there's a hole right there. Okay, good. Did she run in there and like start attacking it or something? From what we can put together, the outbreak wasn't a singular event. Can I get over here too? Across many locations. We're not yet sure what that means. I should have probably refueled it at the same time. Oh, there's an, uh, what's it called, feral? Right in, in front of me, but behind the camera. <laughs> oh, bloaters. Just jump on, dude. I'm stuck. What what am I stuck on here? Well, at least whatever it is, it's knocking over the zombies and they can't immediately jump on my front. Shouldn't we go a little faster? Calm down, I'm driving, you're not. Oh my gosh, I hate this when the ferals just like walk into you and it's like, you just can't really do anything. Feral, just choose any side. Not the inside, I guess that's sort of a failing of the English language there. Come on, dude. Oop, I'm pressing the wrong direction. If I just jump out, will he suddenly attack me immediately? Okay, while we're clear, just in case, I'm going to refuel this. But I'm not planning on using it much. I'm just going to pull in right there. Uh, but I just wanted to get rid of like the multiple hordes of zombies before I got out of my car.
dude, the one that zombie yelled like the third yelling the split second heard me. Okay. The backyard zombies are dealt with. Now we just need to deal with the horde that will spawn no as soon as locked. I walk in. Excellent. What's excellent? Oh. He found construction material, but I didn't get any ma construction material. Unless I missed it in the top left. I didn't see any notification this that gave me disgusting. Uh, construction material. Well, that zombie wasn't there a second ago. I don't feel it. You know, you can help a person who's decided to come with me. Okay. She is actually helping now, which is nice. Sounds like there's someone coming down the hallway, maybe? And she's just standing in the cloud of I can't keep this up. smoke, whatever. We do not want to get caught by that feral. Oh, well, the feral's over here, I guess. Now, over the head. Don't yell. I know you were about to yell. Oh, this is just a, this is just a bunch of zombies. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to fight the zombies or the heart. You can't just stand there next to the heart. No, keep dodging. Oh, nice. She's a she's actually fighting the heart now. Well, I guess the whole time, mostly. Oh, another feral. Oh, I didn't reload yet. It, it would be nice if my shots were hitting me. Oh, uh, where's my Molotov? That was so slow, but... Hopefully it's enough. No, the the fire somehow missed like all of what? Just like pulled me out of an execute. I didn't know. I didn't know that attack would pull you out of an execute like that. Reloading. That should do it. I I want to run outside. I want to uh, use a first aid kit. Oh, I actually don't need a first aid kit yet. Okay. Just use healing. What? What are you doing? Come in here. I think she's plagued. She's doing the slow attack. Yep. Luckily, uh, NPCs or. NPCs not in your community uh, don't actually have the timer, just stay stagnant. Report back to Susie. Well, like, she's literally the one that killed it. Do I need to tell her that she killed it? Is that what's going on here? Uh, I can't fit this crap. Okay. Thanks and it still had the recruit option there, too. That's kind of like funny. You. Okay, that was killing heart or doing heart to heart number eight or whatever. Um, nothing much has happened recently. Whoops, I keep clicking the wrong buttons. In my community, I have nine materials. Next time I get up to ten, which I mean will be at the night time, I'll upgrade How this. Am I gonna do that? What did they say? 
Did it try to uh, did it try to make me learn something? I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this next, uh, and then uh, I, I did do some looting up here, so I'm I'm ready to claim this, but uh, not quite yet. I want to make sure that I have the materials. I don't want to wait like five days just to just to upgrade this. I want to actually. Um, yeah, I, I want to actually have, uh, what am I trying to say? Have enough, yeah. I just want to have enough to upgrade that and not have to wait so long. Um, so anyway, I think that will do it for right now. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I think this was the end of episode 10. So I will see you guys next time in episode 11, which I, th I think will involve killing these three hearts. Um, because I do kind of want to loot here because that's all that's left of the map to loot. But I will see you guys next time. So thank you for watching and have a good day.